Welcome to the Backgammon Christmas Calendar. 24 points of Christmas. The Seven Point by Grandmaster Mark Olsen. Merry Christmas, Backgammon fans. Today is the 7th of December, so we're going to talk about the Seven Point, or as we like to call it, the Bar Point. So the seven point or the bar point is over here on your side of the board next to the bar. It's, uh, it's one of the key points on the entire board. We have the golden point, we have the silver point, and then we have the bar point. So we could say it's, it's the third best uh, point on the board. But uh, it serves so many purposes. It's a great for priming. When your opponent has checkers on the ace point, it's an awesome priming point because it blocks the sixes, right? So it's really strong in terms of priming. But in this example I'm going to show you today, uh, it's not so much of a, a priming uh, game plan. It's more of a racing game plan. And I want to show you the difference between having the bar point and not having the bar point. So let's have a look at this position here. We're, it's a cube action. You are on roll here, you're playing the orange checkers. I'm sitting here in a holding game, on a 20 point holding game, because I have the anchor here on my 20 point. And you are ahead 29 pips here. You could do the count yourself, or you could just believe or trust uh, my words. Uh, you are ahead 29 pips. It's quite crucial, right? Because this is a holding game, so the pip count is very important. And without the bar point made, this is a double and it's a take. Hey guys, remember to download and play on the Backgammon Galaxy app. It's a double and it's a take. Actually, in a quote unquote default holding game position, which this is, that's, I call it a default holding game whenever one player has full freedom, the other player is stuck on a, on a, and an advanced anchor and we don't have the bar point made and we are ahead by 14 pips or more that's a default holding game default holding games are always takes that's a very nice and simple thing to remember default holding games are always takes however let's say we did like this we keep the pip count constant 29 pips ahead for orange but we just switch one checker forward and one checker backwards and we do like this we give you the bar point. All of a sudden, this holding game is not a double take anymore. This is a double and a pass. It's actually a big pass. The seven point makes a huge difference here. It's kind of like a bonus point for orange. It's not a default holding game anymore. This is better. The seven point is really strong. Well, why is it strong? Because you don't really care about priming anymore, right? You're ahead 29 pips, you have full freedom. You just want to bring your checkers home. That's the reason it's great for bringing your checkers home. It's safe landing and it fills out the gap you had in your structure. Now there are no gaps. You have a gapless structure here in front of, the, uh, of my anchor. And it's the perfect landing spot for all of these checkers to come down safely. My rule is if you have an, a holding game where the bar point is made, so like here, where there are no gaps, it can actually be a pass. Without, without the bar point, like this, the default holding game is basically always take. It's always a take, no matter what the pip count is. But when you have the bar point made or the seven point made, now it's not a default take anymore. Now it depends on the pip count. And my rule is, if you are behind by more than 20 pips, you should drop. There are a few exceptions, but more or less, that's a pretty solid rule. In this position, I'm down 29 pips. So I actually have a big pass here. It's a blunder if I were to take the cube. And orange has a strong top. So here in this example, we see the power of the seven point. It's not just good for, for priming, it's also great for safe landing, especially in a holding game position where your objective is just to bring your checkers home safely. So today we talked about the seven point. I hope you liked the video. Merry Christmas to all of you. And I will see you tomorrow in the next video.
Merry Christmas, Backgammon fans!